Hola, my friends, and welcome to episode 208 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and this week we have our final western state, New Mexico. As always, we've got three rounds of ten questions each. If you're new, welcome aboard. You can listen to this podcast in any order you like, though we do tease the next show at the end of each episode. If you need rules or scorecards, visit dorkygeekynerdy.com. That covers the basics, so let's get started. The Dorky Round Number 1. Born in New Mexico in 1973, what actor starred in How I Met Your Mother, a series of unfortunate events, and as the title character in Doogie Howser, M.D.? Neil Patrick Harris. Number two. Born with the name Henry McCarty, what outlaw and subject of the two Young Guns movies died at Fort Sumner in 1881? William Bonney, a.k.a. Billy the Kid. Number three, what state borders New Mexico to the west? Arizona. Number four, what New Mexico town became famous for a purported UFO crash in 1947? Roswell. Number five, what TV series set in New Mexico ran from 2008 to 2013 and starred Brian Cranston as Walter White? Breaking Bad. Number six, what founder of Amazon was born in New Mexico in 1964? Jeff Bezos. Number seven. What 2011 Marvel movie was set in New Mexico? Thor. Number eight. Much to the chagrin of Wiley e. Coyote, what is the state bird of New Mexico? The Roadrunner. Number nine. What national park, located in southeastern New Mexico, is home to over 119 caves. Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Number 10. What 2017 movie, The Tenth X-Men Film, was shot in various locations around New Mexico? Logan. The Geeky Round. Number one. What is the capital of New Mexico? Santa Fe. Number two. What 1952 movie set in the New Mexico Territory starred Gary Cooper and won four Academy Awards. (laughs) 
high noon. Number three, what is the state's nickname? The land of enchantment. Number four, spell Albuquerque. A L B U Q U E R Q U E. Number five. The first what occurred in New Mexico on July sixteenth, nineteen forty-five, at five fifty a.m. The first man-made atomic explosion. Number six. Every October. Albuquerque plays host to a festival for what type of aircraft? Hot air balloons. Number seven. What was the backup landing site for the space shuttle located in New Mexico? White Sands. It was only ever used once in 1982 for the third shuttle mission. Number eight. The 11-minute, 23-second song "Albuquerque" was released in 1999 by what artist? Weird Al Yankovic. Number nine. What ethnicity makes up seventy-four percent of the population of New Mexico? Hispanic. Number ten. New Mexico stood in for Afghanistan in what 2016 Tina Fey movie? Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. The Nerdy Round, Number One. Born in New Mexico in 1887. What hotel magnate's empire is still around to this day? That'd be Paris's great grandfather, Conrad Hilton. Number two, born in Roswell, who became the highest-paid actress at the time in 1996. When she starred in striptease, Demi Moore. Number three. What Native American leader was born in New Mexico in 1829? Would fight with the Mexican and American militaries. But would also ride in President Theodore Roosevelt's inaugural parade, and attend the 1904 World's Fair. Geronimo. Number four. What animator, born in Melrose, New Mexico, was the creator of and initial voice actor for? Tom and Jerry. William Hanna. Yep, the guy who co-founded Hanna Barbera. Number five. 
How many states border New Mexico? Five. Number six. What is the second largest city in New Mexico? Las Cruces. Number seven. What scouting high adventure base is located in New Mexico? Philmont Ranch. It's the largest such facility run by the Boy Scouts. Number eight. The notch in the southwest corner of New Mexico was added to the U.S. with what 1854 land acquisition? The Gadsden Purchase. It also added the southern quarter of Arizona. Number nine. What New Mexico City gets its name from a 1950s radio show? Truth or consequences? Number ten. What two Mexican states border New Mexico? Sonora and Chihuahua. And that's it for New Mexico trivia. Want some bonus facts? New Mexico is the fifth largest state by landmass. It's just slightly larger than its neighbor, Arizona. It's 36th in population. So when you mix the size with the population, it ranks 45th in population density. It became a state January 6, 1912. Making it the 47th state. At 13,000 feet, Wheeler Peak is the highest point in the state. Only 64% of the state's residents speak English only. The rest are bilingual, speak Spanish, or one of the Native American languages like Navajo. Living in Colorado and having family in Arizona means I've driven through New Mexico a lot. It's a beautiful state, and I hope to be able to get down to Carlsbad Caverns at some point. New Mexicans, let me know what else I need to see when I'm there. A quick bit of business before getting to next week's teaser. Some people have reached out via the Q and A feature on Spotify. A, thank you. I love hearing from you. But B, I have no way to respond back to you. It doesn't give me your contact info nor a way to respond. So, if you're asking a question or expecting a response from me, please use dorkygeekynerdy.com, Facebook, Twitter, or even Reddit. If you want to keep sending me notes via Spotify, please feel free to do so. Just know it's a one-way street. That's out of the way. Here's a clue for what you'll hear next week. What state gets its name from the French interpretation of a Native American word for men or warriors? We only have four states left, so these should be getting a little easier. See you back here next Wednesday. This has been episode 208 of the Dorky Geeky Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music has been by Jason Shaw at Audionautics.com. This podcast was written, produced, and hosted by me, Brian Rollins. Come say hi to me at TheVoicesInMyHead.com. You can check out some of the audiobooks I've narrated. Including my latest project, Twenty Thousand Kilos Under the Sea, a modern retelling of the Jules Verne classic adventure. It's a blast. Thanks for listening.